This is Hongham Station. Hongham is a passenger railway station in Hongham, Kowloon, Hong Kong. It is an interchange station between the East Rail Line and the Tun Ma Line domestic services of the MTR network, as well as the southern terminus of cross-border through trains to mainland China, which has been suspended since 4th of February 2020 due to COVID. As the station is located next to Cross Harbour Tunnel's northern portal, it is also served by many Cross Harbour bus routes. Now, Cross Harbour Tunnel is actually down there, through, down at the bottom. Here is Hongham Station Bus Terminus, which is uh, one of the bus terminus that I don't really use technically because uh, my local bus stops are down at the bottom. Yeah, this is my local station and it's the closest station to my home. I just need to walk like five minutes and then I can reach Hongham Station. Here are all of these routes. I count all of these routes as technically my local routes, except A21 because that one's to airport and it's pretty garbage, so that's why I don't care. I usually come here to take 260X to go to Tun Moon instead of taking Tun Ma Line because taking Tun Ma Line is more expensive than taking 260X. Here's Hongham Station nearby areas. We have Fortune Metropolis, which links directly with Hongham Station over there. You can see the passageway. This is a very, very detailed and big station with tons of things to explain. Let's walk now. Here we are at exit C, which is the main concourse. So you can see up there, we have a path right here. That way leads to the car park of the station, which is above ground. With also the MTR Academy. Yes, that's a, that's a college that you can actually enroll in. MTR Academy, which is up there, the uh, campus, which is pretty funny. I've joined a course before to learn something about trains, although I know, know most of them at that time already. So it's just for railway fans to go up there and interact with each other, which is very fun. We also have a very old lift, which is over there to link up to the balcony level up there and also to the subway level. Here's the main part, but we're not going to enter from here because we have more things to show underground in the subway, in the tunnel. Let's walk down there. Opened as the new southern terminus of the KCR on 30th of November 1975 by Queen Elizabeth II. The station was originally named Kowloon Station after the older terminus of the same name which it replaced. The station was substantially expanded in the 1990s at which time it was given its present name. The KCR British section was also renamed KCR East Rail in order to differentiate it from the new KCR West Rail which opened on 20th of December 2003 and was extended to Hongham Station on 16th of August 2009. This is the path that I walk like every single day. So here are exit B, which I always exit from B1 over there. Oh my gosh. And we walk this way now. This way can lead to Cross Harbour Tunnel. As part of the Sha to Central Link project, the East Rail Line was extended across Victoria Harbour to Admiralty via a new immersed tube tunnel to the south of Hong Kong. The rest rail line was also extended by Eastern Kowloon to connect to the former Ma Shan line to form the Tun Ma line. An older station of the same name once existed on Chatham Road South. It was situated on the former coastline of Hong Han Bay at the southeastern corner of the Gun Club Hill Barracks between the current day Chung Si Yun Building A of the Hong Kong Polytechnic University and the Hong Kong History Museum, which is just at the bottom. I walk over to the spot now. Here's the exit A, A something. I forgot the A number, A something. So we have A2 right here, which this is a very useless exit. No one used this. A3 here leads to minibus terminus, which is uh, very decent with my local routes for minibuses. And this way it can lead to D. And cross harbor tunnel, here we are. And see through from the uh, build here. Oh, we have an H1 over there. Nice. I don't know why it's parked there. It's probably going to cross the harbor. Yes, it's crossing the harbor and using the collar bus. Nice. Here's the cross harbor tunnel toll plaza, which buses will run through. Pretty, pretty 
not very busy right now, considering today is a holiday. Across is Polytechnic University, which the old station situated somewhere over that way. I need to I need to go back to where it read where I stopped reading. Okay, here we are. Okay, so here is actually the other side of this is actually the old platforms. We'll talk more about the old platforms later on. The old Hongham Station, which is down there, the, the, I just said, a temporary wooden structure operated from 1st of October 1910, which, is the, which was the day of the KCR began operation. Of course, it is demolished. The old Kowloon Station in Chimsha Chui began operation in 1910. After decades of economic growth in Hong Kong, the station situated at the seafront of Victoria Harbour next to Star Ferry Pier became too small and had no room for expansion. A new Kowloon station, which is the current Hongham station. But of course, this is referring to the old platforms, which the original X is right here, and they have blocked it off already. Situated to the east, was officially inaugurated by Chief Secretary Dennis Roberts on 24th of November 1975 as the new terminus of the KCR. However, it did not start operating until a few days later. The old terminus at Tim Sha Chui was closed on 29th of November 1975. The first passenger train pulled out of the new station the following morning at 8.26 a.m. On 5th of May 1975. Here's the most historic moment of Hong Kong's and Hong Kong, of Hong Kong station. Ready? Queen Elizabeth II unve unveiled a plaque commemorating the opening of the new terminus. This is the plaque by the Queen herself when she visited Hong Kong in 1975. Rip the Queen, hope she lives forever in our hearts. The new station cost 150 million Hong Kong dollars and offered more than new facilities, including a spacious waiting hall, a restaurant, a bar, a bookstore, and a bank escalate, a bank escalators and closed circuit televisions. It was built along with a bus terminus and a multi-story car park, which you guys have seen just earlier at the start of the level of the video. The controversial demolition of the old station commenced on 7th of June 1978. A new complex of a concert hall and museums were built on Kowloon Station original site, which is the current cultural museum and the space museum in uh, Chim Sha Choi. But the clock tower was preserved as a declared monument. Through trains to mainland started to run from Hongham Station on 4th of April 1979. However, due to COVID, they shut down it. They shut it down in 2020, which I don't think they will reactivate it anymore. This is the passageway where you can walk through the whole Hongham Station underground here, which this is exit D at the front. The new station was renamed Hong Kong Station around February or March 1996. The KCR was renamed KCR Israel and subsequently the Israel Line after merging with MTR in December 2007. A 1.3 billion Hong Kong dollar expansion of Hong Kong Station began on 16th of March 1995, which included a new concourse designed by Fosters and Partners. The expansion was completed in 1998. The passenger terminal now hosts ticket offices, waiting areas, shops, and restaurants. But more over that way, we're not going to go over there. Let's walk up to the uh, nowadays concourse, which there are a lot of things up here, including shops, restaurants, McDonald's mainly, and uh, more stuff up here. Let's walk up there. After decades of being the terminus station of the East Rail Line, Hong Kong temporarily became an intermediate station when the East Rail was extended to East Chim Sha Choi Station in 2004. This symbolic return to Chim Sha Choi of the KCR was followed by the inauguration of a westward Kowloon Southern Link to complete the West Rail Line. On August 16, 2009, East Chim Sha Choi was transferred to the West Rail Line which then Hong Kong became the terminus station of both East Rail and West Rail lines. 
To minimize the confusion after the opening of Hong Kong West Kowloon, China Railways renamed the station on a system to Hong Kong Hong Hong for the straight through trains on April 1st, 2019. The West Rail Line was relocated to a new set of platforms on June 20th, 2021, a week before Tinma Lines open, which is the per current platforms. On June 27, 2021, the West Rail Line officially merged with the Mount Anshan Line in East Kowloon to form the Tinma Line as part of the Shatin to Central Link project. After the East Rail Line opened its cross harbour section, it moved to the new underground platforms beneath Tunma Line on May 15, 2022. At the same time, the original East Rail Line platforms, which is, I said, the old platforms over that way, is now closed. So if you guys want to check out the old platforms, I have walked around in 2021 for all of the platforms included. Check out the cards up top for that video where I walked around in 2021 and are now actually used as train sidings, but I, I don't think any trains will run into the old platforms right now anymore. We have the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the restaurants up here, <laughs> Starbucks and McDonald's and the cafe over here. Oh my gosh, this freaking phone just doesn't work out that well. I'm just trying to find where, where I'm at right now, okay. Platform 5 and 6, which is actually still at the old platforms, now probably not, not going to use anymore, is for the uh, cross-border trains to Beijing, Shanghai and Guangzhou. As of September 4th, 2019, Hong Kong Station and its cross-border services cannot be found on China Railway's official website as opposed to high-speed services at West Kowloon Station. Due to the fact that because of Hong Kong West Kowloon Station, I don't think the cross-border trains here will work anymore after even border reopens right now. Okay, now here we are at the concourse, finally. Too much to talk about. This station is way too huge and way too important. Here's the nowadays only part of the concourse, which you can head down to the platforms from here. Wide open natural light, which sometimes actually the windows open up top. Then actually birds fly in here, which is pretty scary. Lift directly in the middle of the platform, I mean the concourse. More exits on either side to lead to different areas. Let's get in there. Alright, made it inside. Keep talking. Still have more to talk. Talking about the uh, Shot into Central Link extension from Hong Kong. Too many people inside though, oh my gosh. Today due to is the third day of Lunar New Year, so that's why tons of people are here, including later on we might be able to see some race course trains for East Rail Line. For the Shot into Central Link, it is using the North-South Corridor concept, which the East Rail Line was extended to Hong Kong Island. At the same time, the West Rail Line connected with Mount Shan Line via East Kowloon. To facilitate this expansion, new platforms were built underneath the Hong Ham Station Exit C concourse. The Tin Ma Line sits above the two East Rail Line platforms. New approach tracks have also been built north and south of the station. Let's go down to the platform. We need to go to the Tin Ma Line platform. Let's walk the stairs. I don't really like the stairs because it's actually pretty far. Right, let's do it. In 2018, a major scandal emerged regarding construction malpractice at the Hong Kong Station construction site. In 2015, contractors building a... Oh my gosh! How can I talk? Your attention, please. I can't talk Please until this announcement stops. I require to have a negative nucleic acid test result taken within 48 hours of travel and complete the mainland health declaration online. Hong Kong residents and foreigner ex visitors to Hong Kong must have a booking for the boundary control point. Oh my gosh, I hate this announcement. In 2015, contractors building the concrete slab forming the Tin Ma Line platform, which is right here actually, 
Turn my line platform level reportedly cut off the ends of reinforcing bars that were supposed to be screwed into couplers within the diaphragm wall forming the side of the underground station box. The contractor then poured the concrete even though the bars were not connected to the couplers. As a result, engineers have cast doubt on the long term structural safety of the slab which is actually right in this level of the platform. It's actually originally, it was very dangerous actually b during the uh, construction work. So that's why it caused so many delay, so much delay for the two mile line to open because of the stupid platform just failed to build correctly. The government has demanded that MTL Corporation submit a report on the safety of the station. An independent engineer, CM Wong and Associates Limited will conduct safety tests. On June 12, 2018, Chief Executive Carrie Lam announced that she will appoint a commission on inquiry headed by the Hong Kong judge Michael Hartman to investigate the scandal. Which of course overall now is actually safe to do because Tim Malan has opened for almost two years now and it's pretty safe and sound for this platform. Here's the Tim Malan platform. With actually the toilets are only on this level. There's the toilets over there. Far at the end of the platform. That's basically it for Tima Line. Let's head down to Israel Line platforms now. Not too much to talk about Israel Line platform. It's very brand new. We just keep walking. This, actually, you don't need to walk the stairs. Escalators here. So let's go down. This is the last level. Got trains coming in. Do we have low? We have a race course train. I'm trying to check whether there are race course trains because today they are racing. Okay, Lot Ma Chow. <laughs> Lot Ma Chow doesn't have any race course trains though. I think it's all the Sheng Shui trains that's gonna go to race course. Yes, there it is. You see, Sheng Shui by race course. Too long, so then they can't show anything. They can't show everything. <laughs> there it is. Well, here's the underground platform for Tu Ma Line. It, I mean, not Tu Ma Line, Israel Line. It has to be underground for Israel Line because this side needs to cross the harbor, so of course it needs to be underground. I really hate this announcement. Oh my god. They keep playing, saying that cross boundary passengers need to do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shut up. No one cares. So, this is the straight through escalator to the concourse. And uh, this is the, the uh, Israel Line platform, which opened half a year ago. I mean, not half a year ago, around a half a year ago. So, there you guys have it. Overall speaking, this is Hong Kong Station, my local station, the station that I used the most. Although there are some flaws with the station, but overall it's convenient for me and it serves my area. That's the only purpose that I need. So that's why I'm for sorry for the score this time. I'm going to give it actually a biased score of 5 out of 5. Now, let's spot some trains.
后下一班列车。A train to Shanghai is arriving. Please let passengers exit first. This train will stop at Racecourse, but not at Fontan. Passengers for Fontan should wait for the next train. 请勿靠近幕门，请不要靠近幕门。Please stand back from the platform doors. Again, air trapping. Please stand back from the platform doors. Please stand back from the platform doors. 
you have to look at how long. Um,
吧，一样。请问 Calgon Lock One， 请不要靠近木门。Please stand back from the platform doors. 请问靠近木门，请不要靠近木门。Please stand back from the platform doors. 
A train to Admiralty is arriving. Please let passengers exit first. Please stand back from the platform doors. Yeah. 